Hi, I'm Dr. David Robinson of the Florida Hospital Cancer Institute. If you are seeking treatment for lung cancer, it is very important for you to understand the anatomy and the treatment options. Treatment options for cancer include local therapy such as surgery and or radiation therapy, as well as systemic therapy such as chemotherapy and targeted therapy. You may receive one or a combination of these treatments. There are several surgical options depending on the type and stage of the cancer. During the wedge resection or segmentectomy, the tumor and a small margin of healthy tissue are removed. In a lobectomy, one of the lobes of the lung is removed. During a pneumonectomy, the surgeon removes the entire lung. In a lobectomy, a diseased section of a large airway is removed and the healthy ends are reattached. Doing any of these procedures, your surgeon may, may remove lymph nodes to check them for cancer. Radiation therapy is a local treatment that uses high energy waves to kill or shrink cancer cells to relieve symptoms. External beam radiation therapy is directed at the cancer's location from a machine outside of your body. Brachytherapy or internal radiation therapy, often in the form of pellets, is most commonly used to help relieve blockage of a large airway by cancer. Chemotherapy is a systemic treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of the cancer cells by either killing them or inhibiting their division. Once the drugs enter the bloodstream, they can travel and reach cancer cells throughout the body. Targeted therapies are newer cancer treatments that work by focusing on specific genetic abnormalities of cancer cells. One targeted therapy, bevacivimab, starves the tumor by stopping it from creating a new blood supply. Another targeted therapy, lotinib, stops tumor growth by blocking the chemicals that signal the cancer cells to grow and divide. As you have seen, there are several options for managing lung cancer. To find the best one for you, please feel free to contact us.